Hi, so this is the digital multimeter as you see here. This is the power button. We use this button to power up the multimeter. So let's press the button as you see. Okay, so here we have hold this button. We use we use it to keep a value. For example, if we test or we measure a resistance, for example, and we want to keep this resistance. Okay, we can just press hold and for example, the resistance, the value of resistance will be showed here. Okay, so of course this we use this button. Okay, for the light. Okay, if we use for example, if you want to do some measurements at night, for example, you can use this button. Okay, okay, to light the power meter. Okay. Okay, but for me, this button is not working. Okay, this button is not working in this multimeter. So here, as you see, we have P and P. Okay, and here we have N, P, N. Okay, this is for the transistor. Here we have A, C, B, A. So this is emitter, collector, and the base. Okay, and also here we have emitter, collector, and the base for the N, P, N. Of course, here we have another emitter okay so this we use this holes as you see in order to check and to study the transistor okay so this is the multimeter selector okay as you see so this is the selector the multimeter selector as you see so using this selector you can select any value or unit you want here okay as you see okay so here as you see this is the diode and the buzzer this is the sign for the buzzer as you see this sound sign this means if you want to test or to check a diode or a continuity you can use this option okay and here as you see we have this sign or this symbol this means ohm or resistance this is for resistance okay so we have here 200 2k 20k 200k 2m or 2 mega 20 mega and 200 mega so we use this to test and to take a measurement for any resistance we want so here for example we have 200 if you want to check or to measure a resistor that is less than that is for example less than 200 you, you you should use this if for example the resistor you assume or you estimate that the resistor can be equal to 1000 ohm or 1k you should not use this you should use this always use the top value or the value that is greater than the resistance that you want to check if you are not sure about the resistance you can use for example you can begin with here and then you can select 200 m and if you don't if you don't find a correct measurement you can go to 20 m 2 m 200 k 20 k until you find the right resistance okay always you should use the up value in order to test or to measure your resistor okay so here we have resistors okay so here 200 we have 2k or 2000 ohm here we have 20k or 20000 ohm 200k k means three zeros here for the m this means six zero we have two mega or two million ohm here we have 20 mega here 200 m or 200 million ohm okay so this is for the big resistors okay so here as you see we have another as you see symbol here another reference here we have v means a voltage but here we have these two lines means this is the dc voltage okay if you want to measure the dc voltage you can use this okay 
you can select here as you see here we have 200 milli volt this is for the voltage that is a small voltage here we have 2 volt okay if you want for example to measure a battery a 1.5 battery for example here 20 200 volt and 1000 volt so this is dc volt always we use this to check and to measure the serviceability of batteries for example so for example here this is a 3 volt battery as you see we have here 3 volt okay so this is a dc battery so this is the battery for the for the laptop motherboard okay so here we have 3 volt so we should not select 2 volt in the multimeter we should select 20 volt always you should select in the multimeter a value that is greater than the voltage that you want to measure okay or the multimeter can be damaged so for example for the battery for the car okay the car about 12 volt or 16 volt so you should select 20 volt okay so here as you see we have v and this wave signal or ac signal this is for the ec okay the same principle here so as you see we have here 200 millivolt 2 volt ec 20 volt 200 volt and 750 volts so if you want for example to check uh, a power source at home for example that is 110 or 115 volt you should use this 200 greater than the voltage that you want to measure but in for example in some countries uh, the power source that they use at home is 220 or 230 or 250 so they should use select this as you see Okay, select this okay so here as you can see here okay so here we have f f means farad here we use this options in order to select capacitors okay as you see here we have 2 n means 2 nanofarad 20 n 200 nanofarad 2 m microfarad this is a microfarad and here we have 200 microfarad also you should also you should check the capacitor okay the body of capacitor and you will find its capacity for example let's assume that you find in the capacitor 100 microfarad so you should not use this units no you should go here because 100 this is greater than 100 so you should use this 100 okay or 200 microfarad okay so of course here we can use also this to check and to study the capacitor okay the chemical capacitor okay or any capacitor so as you see here now we have here a ac so this is amps if you want to test a circuit the amps that is flow in a circuit in ac circuit you should use this as you see we have here 2 milliamps 20 milliamps 200 milliamps and we have 10 amps okay but so here to use here you should select this we will see you should select this jack we have here 10 amps okay so as i told to you if you have a circuit an ac circuit and you want to know about the power the value of the power that flows in this circuit you can use this okay you can use this and I advise you always to use the greater the the big value 10 amp, amps okay in order to avoid to damage your multimeter or to blow or to damage the fuse if you use you use this track okay 
And here, as you see, into DC, okay, as you see, this is for DC circuit. If you have a circuit and you have a current that flows through the circuit, a DC circuit, for example, you use a battery to, to power a lamp, a light, okay? A lamp, for example, you can check the current or the amps that is flow in the circuit using this okay you should select this for example i can select two milliamps and then you should connect the multimeter okay the props of the multimeter in series okay not in parallel but in series with the circuit okay and then you can measure the amps that flows in this circuit okay so as I told you, this is for diode to check a diode or a transistor or to check a continuity of a wire, for example, okay? So here, as I told to you, we have here three jacks, okay? So this jack always we use, this jack we connect with this jack always the black, as you see. We use this jack always we connect here the black probe, okay? So always we connect here the black probe okay we have here calm and this is a common a common probe with these two calm means common for these two as you see here we have ground okay as you see we have ground so always we connect this here okay this probe here so for the red probe we connect it here once or here in accordance with the measurement that we want to to take for example if you want to measure a voltage as you see we have here voltage v even an ac voltage or a dc voltage we have here v so we should connect the red probe here and the black probe here okay exactly in this way okay also if we want to measure the resistor Okay, as you see here, we have arm the resistor, the same. Okay, we should connect this to here. For the milliamps, if we want to measure the milliamps, pay attention for this. We have here milliamps, and here we have amps. So, if we you want to measure the milliamps, to measure the milliamps, okay, you should use this combination okay here we have the maximum that you can measure using this to measure the amps is 200 milliamps max as you see okay if you want if you know that the circuit that the amps that is circulated or flows in a circuit is greater than 200 milliamps now you should use this so now you should use this okay you should connect the read probe here okay why because here we have until 10 amps okay but here just 200 milliamps okay and i want to add that this as you see we have we have here fused means there is a fuse here if you pass this 200 milliamps max in measurement the fuse will be blowed or damaged okay but here as you see no fuse and fused so if you want to check or to take a measurement or to know the current that flows in a circuit ac circuit or in a dc circuit you can use this as you see here we have until 10 amps but if you if the current in a circuit is greater than 10 amps here we have amphused means the power meter or the multimeter will be damaged okay so pay attention for this okay so always as i told you the multimeter of course there is many types of multimeter but the working principle is the same always you find the screen the buttons and you find here the selector and there are the jacks always you can find three jacks always the common jack as you see we use this 
once for this and once about this as you see we have here this line okay here we have line so this is connected to the ground you can use it with this this is a fused okay circuit so if you want to check the voltage the resistance or the milliamps less than 200 milliamps max you can use this okay but if you want to to test or to measure a current that can be more than 200 milliamps no you should not use this use this okay and I want to add that this multimeter use a 9 volt battery. So here we have the battery. This is a 9 volt battery. Okay. 